Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid and not every reading is for you. What do we have for Sagittarius for the week of March 1st through March 7th? What's going on for Sagittarius? Magician in the mirror. So this is about power. It's about taking action. Um, you have the power. You have all the tools to be successful. I feel like when you look at yourself, you need to think about who you are. Um, I think there's a change that is needed, and you need to take action to make that change. And this may be a week when you step into that power, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else more to say other than you have some sort of opportunity right now. You have an opportunity right now. My advice is for you to go look in the mirror. Go look in the mirror and ask yourself, what do you want for your life? Go ask yourself, what do you want? Who are you? Is this who you are? So perhaps this week that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Because the magician is a card of self. It is. And this is a card of, you know, alchemy, right? Which also the temperance card is as well. So you have the power to create whatever life you want this week. But this will be a new beginning because ones are a beginning. This says eight, eight equals eight. But if you think about the traditional magician, it's a one card. Okay. You have the power to be whoever you want to be. So this is a week where I think that you're going to be taking a look at yourself and who you want to be. Who you want to be at this time in your life. That's too many. We are going to take that one though. You have to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. So I feel like this is a week where you are going to be considering your new life. You also may be manifesting something this week through your thoughts. So really, really pay attention to your thoughts. Tulip. Great passion. Ink pot. Problems to be resolved. So you could be dealing with a messy situation. You may need to clean up a mess. By the looks of things. Camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. So you're going to, and you do have all the tools you need to, within you, to overcome something, okay? You have all the tools that you need. There is a problem, there's a messy situation that does need to be cleaned up. You need to find the passion within you to do so. So this is going to be a week where, you know, I think it's a time of growth, it's a time of taking action and overcoming a messy situation. So I think that. You know, you're going to be taking control as well. I think you're, you're, you need to take control. And this is a week where you take your power, you know, you take your power into your own hands. I think that you have the power right now. Maybe you didn't know that you had the power. Maybe you were thinking negative. This is a shift, okay? It's a shift in energy of some sort. What do we have for Sagittarius? Seven of Swords reversed. So... There's been some deception. There's been lies. There's been deception. There's been betrayal. But this is getting caught. Somebody is getting caught in a lie. The truth is coming out in some sort of... This truth will come out. I mean, the Seven of Swords reversed is being caught off guard. You may be, but you maybe you're going to catch somebody off guard or somebody's going to catch you out guard, off guard. This is about letting go, taking a new approach. There could be an unworkable plan here, and you need to come up with another plan because a magician is a planner. Okay. Um, I wonder also if somebody is doing something illegal. 
There could be some illegal activities here. If there is, somebody's going to get caught. Somebody's going to be owning up or they're going to get caught and they may just come clean. I think that there's there's a warning here with the Seven of Swords reversed. Beware. Beware. All is not as it seems. Okay, there's somebody that is lying that is around you. I think that you probably know it. Somebody is going to be facing the music in regards to a situation. They're getting caught. So I do believe that they're getting caught. Queen of Coins. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could also be your energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. Anyhow, I do see that we have somebody here that is stable, that is solid, that is secure, that has a lot to offer. This is somebody that is very devoted, very motherly, um, that has an opportunity right now. They have an opportunity to, for uh, happiness, I believe. I mean, this is a golden opportunity right here. This is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something or they are manifesting something right now. Now, this is somebody that is very nurturing, very mothering. There's been some deception. Somebody has lied. They have done something illegal or they have hurt another person. This is no conscience. Somebody has done something with no conscience and, they're, and now there could be some consequences. Oh, one fell out. Three of Wands reversed. So unprepared. Somebody is unprepared. They've been wasting time, not seeing the opportunities, focused, focused on something, focused on a betrayal, focused on pain, focused on lies. Somebody hasn't been seeing something. They've been stuck. I mean, that's a lack of foresight. This one fell out too. Nine of Wands reversed. Now that's a card of perseverance, but it's in reversed. So somebody may have given up. They may have given up prematurely. They've given up some sort of fight, but I feel like there's still, there's, there's a way to resolve something. Something can be resolved this week, but you need to take action in some way. I feel with the Nine of Wands reversed, there's, there's a lot of fear here. There's distrust. You may not trust. You know, it's, and I don't think there is somebody here that there, pro there probably is somebody here that you that you shouldn't trust. There's manipulation. You think about a magician card. Magician is master manipulation. It is. It's a master manipulator. If you were to go watch a magic show, that is the biggest form of manipulation. So there's been some manipulation here, and, and there's been... Um, a lot of wounds that have been caused because of because of it okay um, I feel like there's danger here because of these cards I feel like somebody doesn't see they don't see something there's lack of foresight they're not seeing that they're being lied to or they're not seeing that they're being cheated or deceived so I think that there's something below the surface that you don't see that's probably gonna come out this week you may be turning a blind eye to something, you know, just choosing not to see something. Um, yeah. I think we have somebody here that is, you know, repeating negative patterns, wanting their own way. That has a lot of pride. I mean, the Nine of Wands reversed is extreme pride. This is somebody that is very uh, disagreeable. That has a chip on their shoulder. That is not seeing that they can change the situation. Because magician can change anything. And you have the power to change your circumstances right now. But you will have to be grounded. You will have to be realistic. You will have to be practical. So I feel like this week, you know, you, you, I feel like you've been avoiding something, you know, staying stuck in a situation that is very challenging. You're in a challenging situation. Somebody could be working undercover. So I think that you need to beware. There could be some undercover work here. You may not see it. You may not know it. You need to be careful. Seven of Cups reversed. 
Now, the Seven of Cups reverse is seeing very clearly, becoming clear of a choice. If you have been in a state of confusion or you haven't uh, seen, got the signs that you need or you haven't been able to choose what option to go towards, this week you're going to get some clarity. You're going to get some clarity about something. Um, you're going to become clear. A choice is going to be made this week that is going to give you some sort of well, something is going to happen that is going to give you clarity that allows you to make a choice in regards to an individual that has been lying to you. You may have chosen not to believe it or chosen not to see it. But it feels like you know something. I feel like you have a divine connection and, you're, and I feel like you know it, but you've been avoiding the truth or whatever it is. This is a week of, of taking your power back by the looks of things. You may be receiving some solid advice from somebody as well. Some, some practical advice from somebody that gives you clarity. You may, you may be coming out of fantasy. You think of, I mean, this is grounded. This is fantasy, but it's, re it's, it's reversed. And there definitely could be consequences here. So somebody may be receiving some consequences for choosing this is lack of foresight not to see something. But this is a reality check. So somebody could be getting a reality check. They may be becoming grounded. They may be realizing something. Realizing something. So there's going to be some sort of realization this week. Um... And there's a need to compromise. And I feel like you've been unable to compromise. There's definitely some, there's definitely some scheming going on. Somebody has been manipulated and they've allowed themselves to be manipulated. Knight of Coins. Now the Knight of Coins is hard work. It's putting in effort, taking time, making a plan, coming up with a plan. So I do believe that there's that you're probably going to be coming up with a plan. You're going to be receiving some sort of clarity or information after you've been in fantasy or you've been confused and you're going to be going in a new direction. I feel like uh, you're going to be using a lot of common sense this week. You're going to be looking to build something more secure taking a new position in some sort of way. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be taking a new position. I think that you didn't see something. You were choosing not to see something. You were dealing with a master manipulator that was pulling the wool over your eyes. But this week you're gaining, you're getting grounded and you're gaining clarity. And you're taking an opportunity. You are. You're going you're gonna to be taking a new opportunity. And building up something stable. This could be building a new foundation or laying a new foundation. Making plans to do so. King of Swords. So the King of Swords is a very uh, truthful, honest person that makes a decision. Um, typically truthful. This is direct, being direct, making a very logical decision. Um, there could be a proposition here. Somebody may be making you an offer. Okay, just saying. You may be receiving an offer from somebody that is very practical, very stable. This is making an informed decision. It may not be an easy decision, but you have to make the decision anyway. So I do feel like you're going to be making a challenging decision this week. It's definitely challenging. I think you've been challenged. Somebody's been challenging you. They've been hurting you, and you've been allowing them to hurt you. This week, I feel like you're definitely taking your power back because the uh, King of Swords, that, that sword is power, and that is truth. Okay, it's a sword of power, and it's a sword of truth. Somebody has taken your power. They have. And now you're seeing the truth. It's time for you to take that power in your hands. So I feel like this week you're going to be making a decision. And I feel like it's a solid decision. I think that you have wasted a lot of time in this predicament. And I feel like you just come to you get some sort of awakening. If you think about the magician, that is an awakening. I do feel like you're going to get some sort of awakening that... You know, or somebody gives you some solid advice that says, you know what, you can build something stronger someplace else. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like this week you're going to be coming up with a plan. 
and I feel like you're going to be um, seeing something clearly, very, very clearly about a person. Um, you have somebody here that has been lying to you. I feel like it's two-faced. You're dealing with somebody that is very two-faced. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person, um, I feel like this person has hurt you in some way. They have hurt you really, really badly in some way. It could be, it could be anybody. It doesn't have to be uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Anyhow, um, I think that you're going to be putting in effort. You're going to be making a plan to take your power back this week. If you have, if you just don't take it back anyway, you just this is a reality check. It's coming to terms with the truth. So whatever this truth is, somebody's getting caught doing something, and there's going to be consequences. These are both cards of consequences. They are. Now I don't even know if the law is getting involved because um, the the seven of swords could be legal activity. There could be some legal activity here. We have somebody here that maybe doing something illegal, they don't realize that they're being watched. They could be being watched maybe by the authorities or something. Um, or somebody is watching. I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel it very strongly. Anyhow, um, I do believe there's going to be a conversation. There's going to be a decision that is made that is based on the facts, that is based on the truth. This is very challenging information that is coming in. And you, whatever is happening, you're going to be making a decision based on the truth, based on the facts. You're going to be receiving some information that uh, really makes you think. It makes you think about, you know, who your value and what you're worth. Um, so anyway, I feel like this week you're going to be taking taking control after you have given your power away to another person. Um, there's a lot of pretending here. I have the Eight of Cups reversed on the bottom. Somebody has been pretending to be happy. They have. They've been uh, avoiding walking away, staying put, refusing to move on. When it's so disappointing, the situation is emotionally disappointing, and they've needed to move on. And I feel like this is a week where action is taken. Good luck.